Hi, I'm Nick Rummel with Caterpillar Preventive Maintenance. I wanted to give, give you some tips and ideas on your tracks and undercarriage. Now, what we have here is a D6R. Every time we look at the undercarriage, we want to go through and we want to look at our rear idlers, all the fastening hardware. We want to look for oil leaking around the seal areas. We want to look at the guide plates, the track guide plates on the bottom. We also want to take a look at these track pads, and as you can see, these have a little back bending going on. That means that this uh, track pad has actually been striking this rear guard. Now, what can cause that is running on a side slope, running over rock, uh, possibly some loose material, but it's just something that we really need to watch because the last thing we want to do is get into this big metal structure here, have to cut that off and re-weld on a new one. As we move forward, we always want to look at the frame itself for any cracks, especially around the push arm area. Uh, we need to make sure that there's no cracks in the push arm and any of these welds down in here. Moving up a little bit, we'll look at the sprocket segments. These sprocket segments are probably 40 to 50 percent worn. It's getting about time to replace them. But another thing we want to look at besides just the segments are the bolts. We need to make sure that all these bolts are tight and in place. Now, as we're looking at the sprocket segments, we also want to look at the wear edge of the link itself. You can see a little bit of cupping going on. These tracks are, are getting pretty worn. I can also put my hand up in here and feel the bushing at the same time. We're always going to notice that there's going to be more wear on the drive side of the bushing than there is on the other side. Moving up on the frame, again, we want to continue to look for cracks all over the roller frame. We want to look at this carrier roller. Not only how much wear the carrier roller has on it, but also if it's in the right position. This particular carrier roller, I can feel, is a slightly out of position. It's actually moved out this way a little too far. We want to make sure that, that carrier roller is centered so our track is always running straight to get the most life out of this undercarriage. Now while we're here, we're going to look right down here at, at all the rollers along the bottom of the frame. Now this is a rigid frame machine and what we want to look at is make sure that there's no oil leaking. We want to look at those rollers and uh, see how much wear they have. We also want to make sure that all of our fasteners are in place. As we move on up to the front of the machine, again we've got track guides down on the bottom of the, of the front of the idler here. We want to look at those and check the wear on those. We also want to look at this idler. This idler is probably about the 40 percent wear range. What we, how we can tell that is not only by the height of the center rib of the idler, but also the thickness out here on the edge. If we continue to run this idler, we're going to run it beyond its repairable life, which means more parts to buy. This idler can be chucked up and welded at your local cat dealer. As we look at track pads, we not only want to look at the grouser height, but we also want to look at the leading and trailing edge. As you can see, these tra this trailing edge is pretty scalloped. Now if we were running in rock, we can actually start to wedge rock inside this scalloped uh, <clears throat> trailing edge. And what that can do is either bend a pad or break the pad. And it also creates a little unnecessary stress on our undercarriage. You know, one final tip is you can go ahead and run this machine for about an hour or so, take the back of your hand and feel each of the track pins. What this is going to give you an indication of is if you have a hot joint. Now if you do have a hot joint, that means that there's no lubrication left in that sealed and lubricated track. Now even though each joint is an individual, it's also a good indication of how much wear this track really has on it, and it definitely needs attention right then. For more information, please contact your local cat dealer.